We have something and someone special for you in this morning's The Dish. The someone is award-winning chef Wiley Dufresne. The something is his unusual scientific approach to cooking, currently on display at his popular restaurant Alder in downtown Manhattan. We like to play with our food. We like to have some fun. Chef Wiley Dufresne creates dishes that most people could never dream of. You can give just a hair more leash to make delicious but fun, clever, interesting food. French onion soup encapsulated in a decadent stack of onion rings. An Asian spin on pigs in a blanket. Pastrami on rye adapted into pasta. He's widely considered one of the most imaginative chefs in the world. How often do you come here? There was a time when I would come here easily once a month. Many of his ideas yeah, start here. So this is all Spain right here. And then this is, well, England, Scandinavia, France is over there. We joined him at Kitchen Arts and Letters, a bookstore on New York's Upper East Side. What are you looking for? Anything in particular? On a broad scale for something I've never, haven't seen before, be it an idea, and that could be a technique. It could be the way, f the way the food is presented. I'm just looking to learn something. He's been a regular here for almost 25 years. Is this the best piece of advice you have for young chefs coming up? To read, yeah. I would say to read. Read everything you can get your hands on. Dufresne was born in Rhode Island and grew up an only child. After his parents divorced, he moved to New York City to be with his mother. But he spent summers with his dad back in Rhode Island working in restaurants. What was the first real cooking job you had then? The first serious job I had was the summer before my senior year of college. So I'd been a bus boy, I'd been a waiter, I'd been a dishwasher, I'd been a cook. So I thought, well, once, once college is over, I'm gonna go back to the restaurant business. Dufresne enrolled in the French Culinary Institute in New York. Not long after graduation, he got a job with legendary chef Jean-Georges von Gerichten. How'd you get that job? I dropped my resume off and I called and called and then I called some more and then I called and they finally said, okay, stop calling. After six years with John George, Dufresne decided to open up his own restaurant. Almost overnight, WD-50 became internationally known for its scientific approach to cooking called molecular gastronomy. Dufresne's most famous dish was Eggs Benedict. He developed a way to fry hollandaise in English muffin crumbs and cook the eggs sous vide. I've read that you said you hate that term, molecular gastronomy. But do you think anyone was approaching it the same way you were on a plate before WD-50? I, I, maybe not in New York. Maybe we were uh, early adopters of that style of thinking in New York. You know, we wanted to avail ourselves to the most current information. Acclaimed culinary innovator, Wiley Dufresne. Welcome back. Hello, chefs. Despite all his fame and the restaurant's Michelin star, WD-50 closed in 2014 because the building was sold. Wiley's father, Dewey Dufresne, a former restaurateur when he was a boy, had been his business partner. Did you always want him to be a part of this world? No, actually, I, uh, I tried very much to be an example of what not to become in life. I said, you should be a plumber. They make good money, they're always needed, and they have oftentimes have nights off. This is difference. a little better, though, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Everyone I, has uh, a toilet. Everybody. <laughs> You have no idea. Get in the restaurant business, then you'll see how important a plumber me. is. Dufresne says the menu at his restaurant Alder is less complicated, but just as innovative, like these Okonomiyaki silver dollar pancakes. Okonomiyaki is a uh, typical Japanese sort of comfort food, and we're going to make it look like a traditional American stack of pancakes. These pancakes include chopped cabbage, scallions, eggs, flour, and a Japanese soup stock. Dufresne then adds marinated octopus. The first time I had okonomiyaki, I was in Japan, sort of at a, at a, like a diner, like a daytime diner, and they make them on these giant grills, and they make really long ones, and then they chop it up, and they just kind of hand it to you. It's really, it's really fun. I was suitably hungover at the time, so. <laughs> I love hearing that sizzle. <laughs> That's a good sound. After a few Things minutes on the grill, the Dufresne adds another playful touch. Because typically pancakes have a pat of butter on them, we've taken the, the mayonnaise and we've just set it with a little bit of gelatin. And then on the side, we're gonna serve a sauce made from ketchup, seaweed, mustard, honey, maple syrup, Worcestershire, some ginger, some mirin, and some um, 
sake. I have to tell you, if I didn't see this, I would have had no idea that was a pancake in my mouth right now. It's meant to be playful. It's meant to be fun. Unlike other renowned chefs, Dufresne still says he's in the kitchen at least five days a week. His goal is to learn more about food because it affects everything he puts on a plate. Why do you roast a chicken at 375 degrees instead of 400 degrees? Why do you, why do you poach an egg uh, at 65 degrees? Or what happens if you change the temperature to 75 degrees? It turns out that we as cooks can make great food, but we don't always know what we're doing. So I'd like to eliminate some of that or chip away at that. That's ultimately what I hope that WD-50 and Alder and whatever other restaurants I'm lucky enough to have, what is the contribution that we helped add you know, to, to the conversation that we, we helped, we, that we left things in a slightly better place than we found them. It took you 10 years to open this second restaurant. Do you think it'll take another 10 for a third restaurant? I, I certainly hope not because I'm getting old. Um, my knees hurt. Uh, but I would like to open more restaurants. I really? I, I definitely would, yeah. I have some more ideas that I think would be a lot of fun and I think people would enjoy it. Can we get a glimmer of what some of the new ideas would be? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is so thoughtful that it almost didn't surprise me his major in college right. was philosophy. Right. And, and every time you speak to him about every topic, he is just so thoughtful. And of course, it translates to a plate of food. And I, I love what he said when he went for his first job. I called and I called and I called and I called again. Great advice every time.